the most important CSCF that other CSCFs interact with and you can say it is at the center of the core of IMS it won't be an exaggeration let's explore the functionality of serving CSCF in more detail here you can see that after the proxy CSCF the serving CSCF comes into play it has interaction with almost every other node in the IMS architecture. It means serving CSCF not only can interact with other nodes in the architecture, it can even replicate or proxy any other node in case that fails. Because only through these network nodes, only through SCSCF, these IMS architecture nodes interact with each other. Since it is central to the IMS, it performs all the functionality that a typical SIP server performs, that is, managing the connections and opening and terminating the sessions. So, serving CSCF acts not only as a SIP server, it acts as a registrar as well. It means, like a SIP registrar server, it can receive registration requests from user equipment so that the presence and location of these user equipments be known to interested calling parties through an appropriate location service which in this case is a location server which is positioned or located in a home subscriber server. Serving CSCF has to deal with the user equipment. Each user equipment comes with an IP address. So the responsibility of serving CSCF is to assign a SIP address to an IP address. So correspondingly, a binding has to take place or a pair or a tuple has to be created that associates an IP address with SIP address. From a user perspective, for a subscriber, the serving CSCF is always located in the home network, that is the parent network in which the user is initially registered. For AAA services and certain other services, serving CSCF adopts diameter protocol, which essentially is an extension to the um, radius server. So, using diameter protocol, serving CSCF actually can access the database in the home subscriber serv server to query the details of a user such as the subscription, whether it is prepaid, postpaid, balance related information from home subscriber server. However, this access by serving CSCF does not alter the content at the HSS. Rather, it is only fetched and cached. It is not modified. Serving CSCF can write data or upload data to HSS when it is able to establish user-related information which it gets at that particular moment while the user is interacting with serving CSCF to the HSS. Now this information sometimes is temporarily needed 
to be stored at HSS in case the user equipment is either roaming or it changes its profile. While performing the essential duties of a SIP server and a registrar server, the serving CSCF actually implements the policies related to QoS, charging, billing, admission control on behalf of the operator. It also provides SIP message forwarding service amongst the IMS nodes. As you saw in the figure that it is at such an um, important location and it has a connection with all the other nodes that it allows these messages, SIP messages to be exchanged between the nodes via itself. It also provides routing of the SIP messages based on the uh, E.164 numbering, that is electronic numbering, which is uh, used in PSTNs. So it means SIP translates the enum-based addressing into the more familiar and easily implementable IP-based addressing. The serving CSCF lies in the home network Agreed, but sometimes for the sake of load balancing or high scalability, adaptability in case of failure to ensure that system remains available, several serving CSCFs can be deployed within one IMS. However, from an individual user equipment or subscriber perspective, only one serving CSCF is assigned to a user. Since serving CSCF is almost like a hub in a star topology, so it can act like any other node. For instance, it can behave like a proxy server. So it can actually replicate the functionality of proxy CSCF. Again, it can act like a user agent, like proxy CSCF would do to initiate or terminate SIP sessions if needed. Sometimes, when services are available across diverse platforms, each platform can interact with serving CSCF to establish interaction subsequently with other CSCF, uh, other service platforms. It is possible through SIP-based IMS service control interface. It means, again, the serving CSCF implements interaction amongst multiple service platforms through service control interface. Let's finally look at the diagram. Here we see that the serving CSCF is located at such an important position that it can interact with other nodes and can replicate the functionality of other nodes. 